been counting down the days and the nights Since you last said that you loved me Alrighty guys, well time is 5.26 p.m. We have made it to the post office on time. I'm gonna drop off package right over here and that is money in Miss Pocket, you know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna go over to Goodwill, do a little drop off because we got some action in the books in the trunk. We need to get that in the books. My friends, my trunk is loaded up and we gotta go up. I better not talk too long because I gotta get that in the door before 5.30 p.m. This, remember, is my secret post office that closes a half an hour later than all other post office and I love it. Hey, let's go. You know what, guys? I was thinking to myself, I was actually thinking as we were coming up the hill there, I said to myself, you know what, Chris? The whole, like, uh, if you guys have ever watched Rob Deerdeck's Fantasy Factory, and they, like, outdid that whole entire, like, warehouse with, like, skate ramps. Of course, that's, like, mind-boggling. Very, very expensive. But have you guys ever pondered on the idea of something like a New York loft type thing? And I'm not talking about, like, you know, Soho, these expensive places that you got to pay more money than Santa Claus, you know? makes per year you know what I'm saying so it's like kind of like a just a big open space a big open room wood flooring with bricks on the walls definitely like New York style but more like an LA style type of a place I know they have places like that in Los Angeles but I mean regardless it's probably in downtown and it's probably pretty expensive as well but what if you turned like remodel the house into like this big open space? I've always liked that in the movies, you know, just big open space. The feel of a home, but the feel of like almost like a workshop. Now, if you guys watch big YouTubers like, I think his name is Marcus, Marcus Brown. He is the guy that does uh, MBK2K or something like that. He's a big YouTuber. Hey, nice. Howdy. Whoa. A8, or no, not A8, uh, oh, I am bad with my car models. Anyway, the uh, sports car, the uh, really, really expensive Audi. Anyway, uh, Marcus Brown, Brownie, Brownie, or Marcus Brown, I think his name is Marcus Brownie. Uh, he is a young guy, and he is the guy that does all the tech reviews. He is the guy that a lot of people in the tech review business look up to to see what he's reviewing. He's top of the line. He is a big YouTuber, like I just mentioned. He's done big things, and he's making really good amount of cheese doing this on YouTube. So he is now renting, I believe. I think he's definitely renting. He's renting a large space and he's building this workspace and it's this big open room. And I think he's in New York actually. So that's why he can get away with it. But anyway, that is just a future goal. I'm just kind of talking out loud right now. Living and working there would be phenomenal. Or if you had your home and then a workspace like that, that is something that would be absolutely phenomenal. Just something that you can like literally makeshift, have some ping pong tables, pool table. I know another big YouTuber, Freddy, Freddy Do. He's the guy that does like rocket jump films. A lot of VX, uh, VFX special effects type of uh, YouTube videos. Anyway, he has, he's another guy that has a space up in Los Angeles and it's just a big fun space. Picture a smaller version of Google headquarters and you just have a blast doing videos with your friends. Of course, you gotta get work done, but you might as well make work fun. You know what I'm saying, guys? So that is something that I'm looking forward to, working hard, and God willing, eventually get to that level. Well, my friends, that blue dumpster is still there. I'm still keeping my eye on it. Actually, looks like someone actually took something off the top of it. Hey, there might be some pickers looking at that. Well guys, take a look at this real quickly. I'm gonna give you a top view angle of it. I knew I saw Mr. Maverick, the UPS driver in the neighborhood as I was driving back. Boom, open up the door. Just this big old hunk of dory package right there, guys. I know exactly what this is and then the, and it's gonna be awesome, guys. So I'm gonna hook that up, open that up later on tonight. I'm in a rush to get out of the house right now. Let's get this inside the house and get going. But tonight, I promise you, we'll, we'll open up this and see what the ticket is. Guys, look at there's Mr. Sleeps a lot. Wow. <laughs> Did you guys see Mr. Sleep Slot, aka Bedbugs? I've seen him over there. He's just he's just getting off the road, metal scrapping, loading up mattresses. You know, he got kind of, the guy got 200 kids. So. Oh man, I always mess with him. You know what I'm saying? He has two kids, but you know what I'm saying? We're like, hey man, what do you got? 20 kids to feed? Oh, my friends, my friends. All right, we got some stuff in the books. Now we're heading down South County, my friends. I'm trying.
Alrighty guys, we are down in South County, baby, and we are looking absolutely fantastic. Jonathan has put together a basketball game today. Jonathan from church, if you guys are familiar with my church skits, Jonathan is there. He's been in many, many different vlogs, and we are gonna go celebrate his birthday, 20 years old. Happy birthday, Jonathan, and shoot some hoops, baby. Your destination. It's been a while since I've actually played myself, so you know what I'm saying? I gotta get my b-ball skills going. All right, let's roll on in here, find out what's going on. Hey, all right now, here we go. Nothing wrong with a little Tesla across the parking lot there, huh? Beautiful whip, huh? Look at that. So you're used to the It's hot in the desert. I don't want to drive in the daytime. No. basketball with Jonathan for his birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Jonathan. Now, I'm actually over here, and I'm trying to do a little recon on this old sports, uh, not, not sports authority, sports chalet that closed down. I'm actually really curious about this, so I'm just gonna kinda go back here, back by this loading dock, and I'm just gonna see if there's any action. There goes some sort of rodent. Oh, there's some parking spaces back here. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna jump out real quick, go take a little recon real quick here, see if anything is the synopsis. Looks like this sports chalet has been gone for a while. Not like the sports authority. This might not even be it, but I'm pretty sure that was sports chalet right there. Oh well guys, there is an old junky tire over there if you want that. Nothing in the cans. Let's head on back home to our sports authority and see what's going on over there. Well guys, as I'm pulling in here, I just saw security and that's the first time I've ever seen security around here. So I'm going to kind of keep my eyes peeled because obviously I don't want to mess around with those guys. There is a Costco right here so I'm not sure if they were for that or whatnot but it is early enough where sometimes you do have some late night stalkers still working at Costco yeah there looks like there's a bunch of people over here to our left that are the night workers at Costco so that actually plays into a better benefactor for me sneaking back here behind we're going to go behind a major golf store and we're also going to go behind office deep all right guys let's go ahead and head on in and see what's going on okay here we go at the golf store we still have a Nike display right over there next to that compactor it's gonna zoom on in there that I think has actually been there for quite a while and that is your typical Nike display there I don't know if that has any slat walls in it we're probably gonna come back here and exit, so we might just pull up to one of these doors and take a quick look at it, but I don't wanna overstay my welcome. And if it's by the trash compactor, my guess is it's free game. That's my guess. So, all right guys, let's head on over to Sports Authority. No, not Sports Authority. I keep calling it Sports Authority. Let's head on over to Office Depot, which is right over here. We gotta tuck ourselves in this little corner. I got all my little hot spots. So let's go right over here. So what we do, we cut right over here. Hey, all right, that store looks like there was some stuff. Then we cut through here, and then we pull up right here, and bada bing, bada boom, here's my cans. Well, my friends, my wife is getting food after the gym. I just got done with basketball, of course. And, well, again, real quickly, no luck on that last Office Depot, unfortunately. So we are gonna go to another Office Depot, as you know. Oh, what in the world is that? Looks like they took off the sign. No way. There's no way a new store went into Sports Authority already. Absolutely no way. Guys, I gotta, I gotta talk a little bit lower because I don't know if there's someone in the side or not. Guys, these are heavy, heavy metal beams. I think support beams, those would be great from Metal Scrapper. Again, very, very heavy. We're behind Office Depot right now. Oh no, see him? All of a sudden, right back to it. Look at that, guys. Brand new briefcase slashed. There was no need to slash that that 
sucks guys look at that brand new briefcase completely slashed these are always cool they've been throwing away a ton of these things right here so of course we're gonna grab this one right here let's take a look over here real quick looks like there's another what is that another desk that's another desk and this one says destroy on it as well what the heck is that more metal scrapping stuff the, the desk is actually in here and i guarantee you it's totally fine here's a picture of it it's kind of almost like a work desk and so that would be kind of cool if you needed it for the man cave i don't need it for the man cave what is that that's a wallen a wallen desk for some reason i'm not sure exactly looks like there's just some other tubing and stuff looks like they're remodeling on the inside but again, guys, that's a full-blown desk. That's probably my guess, 150, no more than 200. It doesn't look really top of the line right here. Here's the dimensions right here, 47, 23, 30, like a workshop desk type thing. It's a uh, wood veneer desk or something like that. Anyway, walnut finish. Can't go wrong with that, guys. Well, there you go, guys. Right after my haul on Wednesday night, I go back, brand new briefcase slashed and brand new laptop case slashed. They went right back to slashing. So whatever kid, whatever worker was working on Wednesday when they hucked that stuff, I was lucky to get in there before they slashed it. But it's one employee who's doing that and they're doing it like just, <laughs> they're just really letting those items have it, guys. So anywho, I'm definitely stoked that I was able to grab up on some of that action before they got rid of it so because obviously it wasn't there tonight but i was able to get that one plastic drawer plus i was able to get some more address labels all that fun stuff so all right guys all right guys i'm back home now and i looked up that desk and i want to show it to you i'm sorry i gotta be a little quiet the missus is in bed already but guys i almost went back for it it is now 3 43 in the morning it's not like the perfect desk but it's definitely an awesome desk guys I just don't have the room and I don't have the room in the garage either I was thinking about just going and picking it up and giving it to mr. sleeps a lot to sell on Craigslist but I, I mean I hardly doubt there's a piece missing it's the same exact thing as the office chair last night it just says destroy on it and they just might be getting rid of inventory guys but let me show you exactly it is it's a little bit more than I anticipated I was a little bit off it's $170 here it is it's actually a really nice desk if you decorate some of the little shelving here and then put your laptop on it etc this ikea desk was a lot cheaper but again i will eventually get a desk for the man cave down below this is just too big to store right now while i'm trying to revamp and sell some stuff so for a future project again i do find desks every few months so this isn't the last hope definitely a cool price guys but again i did it's too big to store if i had a bigger house or knew someone that needed it i totally would go back guys but unfortunately it would just take a, like a whole mission go get it and even take it to goodwill it's just that's a really big mission so anyway i might reconsider might go back tomorrow see if it's still there but again they've been throwing away a ton of stuff so i gotta keep my eye on the prize guys and that new shop was already going in where sports authority was what in the world's going on i see some trucks over there now guys anyway god bless you god protect you remember the carpe diem baby live your dream and i'll see you guys tomorrow later